now I come, now I'm here, now I'm around. I come to you now, it's an ultimate, um, an ultimate episode of Raft. This just so stressed, my heart in my throat, my stomach in my brain, my eyes um, peeled wide. I am stressed out. Uh, it's been a long time since I last recorded. We were having some electrical problems at my house, which I hope, pray, are solved now. But who knows? We not me, not me certainly until. Um, and we'll we'll just have to see if you know if this episode is suddenly cut off. Then. You'll know why, friend. You'll know why. Um, I am feeling sick to my stomach. Uh, just knowing that we are so close to the end of this sort of art house picture, this A24 film, this um, whatever this is, we are nearing the end of it, certainly. And I don't know, I don't know what that means to me. I don't know, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to make the next thing, to do the next thing. I'm hoping that I, I don't know how I will handle it if the uh, electricity goes out in my house again when I'm recording this. Because um, it seemed to be some sort of issue with, um, with the breaker in my office. I'm still in my office. I considered moving down to another room in our home, but currently that's my partner's office. I don't really want to steal it from him, you know. Um, which wouldn't be stealing. We're we're in this together, but you know. You understand what I'm saying. Just trying to get it a little less yellow out here. I like the yellow, but there's too much of it here and now. Um, pink, pink is good. So yeah, I'm I'm feeling very anxious today, very all over the place. Um, just very weird. I don't even know. I'm looking at. OBS, and I don't know if you're even getting audio on this, uh, on this, um, it's kind of interesting, uh, from the actual game as I'm looking at it, uh, but I can't, I can't fix that now. I can't, um, I'm, I'm too wired I'm too I don't know I don't know what I am or who I am right now I feel out of it you know um just so out of it so weird and wild and I'm just painting because that's what I have right now you know that's what's available to me And it's the penultimate episode. I should be ecstatic, but I just feel sort of sick of my stomach. I don't know. I don't know. I know not. I know not who I am or what what my goals should be. Um, I'm just gonna save the world just in case the power in my house goes out again. This is a weird thing. It was really is truly only happening when I would start recording, and I think that's just like me, like not imagining things because that is what was happening but like me like being like that must be the reason you know um which isn't necessarily the actual truth of the matter do i have any more paint on me 
So I'm just kind of opining about life right now. Sort of thinking about who I am and my place in the world. I've got a lot of blue here. I should use more of it on the ooh, on the um, ceiling upstairs. I'll go upstairs. I'm just painting today. I think that's really all it's going to be today. It's just me painting. Me painting and sort of wide-eyed considering my like life, where I am, and what I'm trying to do. So much has happened. <laughs> in the like intervening um time since I like last recorded also. So like that's a part of it too. Is you're hearing me sort of uh, thinking about I am a changed man, you know? Changed man. I am um, I've just been thinking about a lot about my my life, my body, my mortality, who how it how it all how it all slings together, you know. Um, I've been working out a bit recently, which is good for me, I think. I mean, I think I'm pretty confident. You know, they're always coming out with new science and new things that they say is bad for us, but I, I'm pretty I'm fairly confident that working out is good for you. Um, at least assuming you don't like do something bad for your body to accomplish it, you know, that I feel reasonably confident about, oh yeah, I set up a ton of fireworks, sun's high in the sky, my heart's low in the ground. It's really wild. I, I was like, I I kept like putting off recording these last two episodes, partially out of an anxiety that the power will go off again, and partially out of like I don't know a different type of anxiety, something like something about finishing this project I've been working on for like a year, a year and a half, something like that. You know, I started recording these, you know, before September even of twenty twenty three. Um, it was it was during the summer, so it was probably um almost two years ago now, honestly, or almost a year ago that I started recording them, but the last episode will go up like in a year and a half after, because uh, it's right now like August, and I'm drunk enough guy, hang on, let me just eat some coconuts. And I've just been at it for so, so, so long. It feels strange. It feels like almost like, I don't know, it, it's scary. Like, what am I gonna do? Which is crazy because it's like I'll just work more on other projects. I'll do things honestly that I'll enjoy more at this point. Not that I haven't enjoyed making this. I really have. It, it's sometimes it's been really, really awful, and sometimes it's been incredibly joyful. And it's just hard to, you know, it's a mix between the two. But I don't know. It's gonna be weird because I'm just. I'm going to record these two episodes and then I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to go and edit, not edit them down really, but just like get this audio right, as right as I can get it. There were some audio problems with the last 10 episodes or so. I was trying to like, I think I got them in pretty good shape, but it, it was weird. It was like the raw, like audio recording was really bad. I think, you know, I reset a bunch of stuff and I tested it once before I started recording again, but we'll, we'll see what that's, what that's about. Um, yeah. Yeah. I got to get one of those keyboards that lets you control the audio with a button. I don't have one. I have them at work with much cheaper keyboards. Um, and my keyboards, you know, it's a pretty nice keyboard. Uh, but it just doesn't have that, which is sort of weird. Oh, hey there, Hoss. I'll come get you in a minute. Oh, in the water. I don't want to be in the water. I want to be. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. You should see the shark. You and me. 
We're safe. Don't worry, buddy. We're safe. Just hold your breath. What a bizarre, um, <laughs> weird place we're in here in my playthrough. It is so weird. I was talking to um, a friend about this the other day that it's like, oh, like I've played so much of this game. I should like theoretically be an expert in like all of it. But the thing of the matter is I haven't played like most of the game is like the majority of the actual gameplay and like interesting things that happen have like passed like 200 episodes ago. Like I can't remember what episode I like quote unquote finished the game, but it was long ago. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not like, it was not recently. Um, wow, I got a lot of scrap off of that. That's nice. Uh, got my trees, I've got all my sculptures, I've painted everything. There's nothing really left to do. Alexander kind of wept because there were no more, no more uh, lands to conquer. <sighs> Just get rained on in a pool, in a tub. Have a sip of water. I went to a, um, maybe part of my, my weird um, sensations is I did uh, go out um, with some friends and get a little bit, a little bit drunk last night. Um, and I am, uh, for all like, should I put this? Uh, I'm not sober as like a, you know, as like a rule. Uh, and I'm not sober because I've like had like such an awful experience drinking, but I'm just sober because it's like, as insofar as I don't, I drink so, I probably over the course of a year, you know, have maybe 20 drinks, 15, somewhere in that zone, which, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are like, that is very not sober. That's, you know, you're drinking like one beer a day for like, you know, three weeks or something. But it, I mean, it's spread out so much. And sometimes it's like two here and one there and whatever. Um, but I just, I drink so little now just because it like, it fucking like ruins my day. Even if I just drink like a little, basically like not the day at, of the drinking, but the day after is usually like fucked. I'm, I like feel weird. I like can't like focus as well. My head usually hurts. I'm usually sore. I'm like, I've been trying to exercise. I'm like, oh man, am I going to be able to make it happen today? You know what I mean? Um, it's just a lot to deal with. So I, I haven't drank, you know, I've maybe had like uh, three blue moons in the past like four months, you know? And uh, last night I, you know, drank some of those beers that, you know, that I like, which are, super high alcohol, you know, 5%, 4%, whatever, where it's like, oh, this is a beer, but it's like got the same content as like wine. And I drank some of my girlfriend's drink and then I, you know, had some PBRs. And I, you know, I got like solidly tipsy and now I do just feel a little off. All right, my little, my little guy way up there. I love him. Should I name him? Should I be like those Minecraft YouTubers of old and be like, that's Steven. Look at Steven up there. Steven's always looking down on us. And then they're, everyone does fan art of Steven. Then like a lore starts to come out surrounding Steven. I start feeding into the lore. And everyone's like, oh my God, he's, he's like reading our comments and feeding into the lore. Or, and then I do something with Steven that like is like, earth shaking to the lore and they're like no no it's impossible and then the like fandom splits into fractions of like people you know i like destroy steven and then it's like there's fraction of people that are like he has killed god and then there's another fraction that's like no he's a lie steven is still out there somewhere and you know and then in the final episode at like right before credits roll you look up and you see steven just out of the corner of the frame 
um, that that's the sort of thing I could be doing if I was a little more uh, content brained, a little more content filled. But I'm not. I'm a I'm a writer writery type, and I like those like things. But I just don't. I don't want to. You know, it just sounds lame to me to do that. <laughs> uh, and also, I don't have like a fan fan base. There's no fan base. There's uh, I have you know. 46 subscribers and 44 of them are bots. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, I, I'm not, I, you know, I haven't paid for bots. I don't, you know, I don't actually know that. But my intuition is that if I were to message them, they would be like, hey there, big, big fella, do you want to join a crypto scam and or send me, you know, uh, feet pics? Um, But uh, yeah, I've, it's been interesting. I'm, I'm actually, after I finish recording these and get the upload going, I, uh, I have the second round of like a writing contest I entered. Um, and I got back the responses from the first round, which I wasn't, I wasn't ecstatic about them. Um, it's just like, it just felt like, I don't know. I didn't feel like I was being judged by someone who had like a good, grasp on the format i guess not like that their advice was bad but it was just kind of like very generic writer workshop level like stuff where it's like you know i don't know i i should join a i should find a writer's workshop of some description online i think that that would probably be valuable to me or better yet in person if i can if there's enough people around here that i can find some people i actually like like and respect their work. I really don't interact with writers that much though. Um, Cause there's just not like a ton of, uh, I guess there's not a ton of, as like a writer, unless you're like working in like certain fields, it feels like, you know, if I'm just like a guy who's like trying to write and trying to submit stuff, it doesn't necessarily lend me to like meeting with them, talking to other writers. And I know there are like forums and stuff I could, I should probably get involved with because it might be valuable. I might like find stuff through that and it might be valuable to me. Um, but I just sort of don't, it doesn't interest me to talk to people online about writing. Um, uh, and if it doesn't interest me, right, there's also the, this like feeling of like, well, why would I, um, why would I bother with like talking to people about writing when I probably am getting, would get more value in terms of like learning to write, like just like using that same amount of time to write. Um, one of the ideas for a project I had finishing this raft one, because I hate myself and I love exceedingly long projects is <laughs> I thought it would be fun to do like, you know, the like thing where it's like, oh, you need 10,000 hours practice at something to become like a master um i thought it would be fun to take like one of the skills i'm trying to do probably writing and then maybe maybe art but like whatever um and like sort of put that to the test and like I, obviously i've been writing for you know a long time now but like just imagining i'm like starting out at zero and then sort of doing like not a blog like half blog half like just like talking about the process of being like a writer and just trying to like make something work, you know what I mean? And then just like splitting that up across like hours of writing. So being like the first hundred hours, 10,000 hours, and then make, you know, I guess a hundred of those, right? A hundred times a hundred is 10,000, right? Yeah. Cause a hundred times 10 is 1,000. So a hundred times a hundred is 10,000. Which, to be clear, I don't necessarily believe that's true. I think some people it might take longer. I think for most, you know, people, if you have some talent, if you have some like, if you're like very thoughtful about your practice and stuff, it, it takes less than 10,000 hours, I think, to become really competent and good at something. Um, but, you know, it, it it's nice to have benchmarks, even if they're not necessarily like totally accurate it can be nice to have like a, um, a target, you know? 
it's like the thing of like, you know, you can come up with like probably any sort of like health thing about like, oh, if you want to build muscle, you need to intake this much protein. And it's like one of those things where we're figuring that out from like averages and studies and stuff. And there are probably people who need, you know, this much less or this much more protein or whatever. Um, but I think there's like some amount of value to like, uh, how would I put it? To like just having any number, even if it's not like explicitly correct, like even if it's not like this is the perfect amount of protein for me, just to have something to shoot for, I think is like fairly valuable um, in like achieving goals. Uh, so, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I think like ten thousand is like as good enough of a benchmark as any other. You know what I mean? And it it's like a nice round number. <laughs> If I said, like, it takes 8,763 hours, actually, you know, it just doesn't have the same impact. And also, it's not as good of a YouTube thumbnail, uh, <laughs> you know. And we we got to have a good thumbnail. Check out Mr. Beast, you know. Check him, check him out, check him out. It's interesting that he is, like, the poster child when I think about, um, like, content art. Like, it's like, if you are in the same way that if you, you know, if I like, think of like, you know, the people who whine about like, political correctness, there's like a specific, I am immediately like, and I mean, Ricky Gervais specifically, like, is like, the like, person who comes to mind. And like, there are like, if you say like, you know, expressionist painters, I'm sure that for most people, they think of, um, or not expressionist, um, if you think of like, modern painters most people probably think of what's his name the splatter artist not Rothko he does color fields you know who I'm talking about right he splatters paint in comment down below the name of that painter and then I'll comment back to you what are you talking about I haven't I recorded this episode three months ago I don't know what you're saying uh uh what's his name he's the famous guy who does the splatter painting Anyways, I got to end the episode. Um, we made it through one. Holy shit. It's taken so long. <laughs>